Batcave. Bruce, Bruce, no, this is this is a new 52. Didn't you get the memo? What? Like, that my Batcave is bigger? That it doesn't have the penny anymore? That's I, a lie. I have the penny still. Uh, Bruce, you know you want to see the penny. Bruce, I told you to get rid of the penny. But, but, we, it, nobody likes the penny, Bruce. Oh, no one. Even Robin. He left me. It was so sad. Diana, I need companionship. No, Clark, Clark time. Bye. See? The, the regular man, always losing out to the superpowered alien. And Bruce now you Wayne's, understand. Bruce Wayne is like the least regular man ever. He is old money as... Well, compared to Superman. No, I... I... What? Whatever. Bruce Wayne is like the opposite of the regular man. No, he's not. Yeah! We're not going to get into a dispute over this. People consider we are! Him, people consider him not even a superhero because he has powers. Well, that's regular people are stupid! <laughs> Alright, well for another time we'll debate the merits of Batman as a human slash superhero. Uh, but for right now we have comics for you. As usual, as it is Wednesday morning, there's lots of fun and uh, shiny things. Many shiny things. And uh, we will start with... Probably the big book of the week. Yeah. I guess let's just start it off with that. Infinity, number one. Big, big Marvel event. Yes, that is Thanos. Yes, you did see him at the end of the Avengers movie. Yes, this does tie in, kind of, sort of. Yeah, totally. Totally. Why not? Yeah. Um, written by Jonathan Hickman, art by um, Jim Chung, and uh, this is basically the payoff for Avengers, the yeah. new Avengers that's been going on. Everything that Hickman has been building with his run of Avengers, with the Builders, and uh, the people on Mars. Yeah, the Phobos dude. Yeah. Yeah. And this has got the, the free comic book day zero issue thing in it, so you didn't miss anything. If you missed that, that's part of this. Um... But yeah, I mean, it's five bucks, but this is huge. There's no ads. There's lots of nice, nice Jonathan Hickman graphic design. It's uh, actually know. like for everyone that felt that Age of Ultron was a bit missing. There was a there was a huge gap between the actual setup for it and the yeah. comic itself. Yeah, yeah. Of Brian Hitch being it you being know Brian really Hitch. slow. Yeah, but this is spinning right out of Avengers. The momentum is building like nobody's Same business. Same writer. Uh, Andrew Romo Pena is going to be doing some of the art. And it has a nice awesome. reading list in the back designed by Jonathan Hickman himself so you can actually know which ones to read. At a glance, you understand it. It's amazing. You know, they should just let Hickman design most of the books. Yeah, big cosmic action there. With Thanos. And over from DC, they also have their current summer event going on. This is Justice League of America number 7, part what? 4? Yeah, part 4 of 6 of Trinity War. Featuring even more developments in the saga of Pandora and her box, which isn't quite a box, it's more of a skull, but you know. And she's sell it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it's all, it's all very loose. Yeah, uh, but Doug Monkey does the art for this, which looks really good. I mean, you're seeing the three Justice gnarly. Leagues fight against each other. Uh, We've got the introduction of a few supervillains from the uh, pre- DC and you. Cool, cool. So we got a uh, Doctor Doctor Psycho, you know, oh, one yeah. villain, Dr. creepy, creepy little cool. dude yeah, with he's totally hair. Creepy. He has no hair anymore, which ah. was a big, big selling point before, but you know. That's like Egg Fu not being Egg Fu. <laughs> like, what happened to Wonder Woman villains, you know? Jesus. Um, from Dark Horse this week, uh, we have Resident Evil. Uh, whoa. <laughs> Resident Alien, The Suicide Blonde, number zero. This collects the short stories that were in Dark Horse Presents the last maybe about six months. Um, this is Steve Parkhouse, uh, Parkhouse and Peter Hogan uh, doing the story. This is the sequel to the story about a man who, well, an alien who crash landed onto a small town and uh, disguised itself as a doctor and spent a good many years without being found out, but now the jig is up. And um, it starts out with this really cool, like, Sandman-esque, Native American kind of dream walk thing that has some amazing colors. Uh, but yeah, this looks really cool. The first series was fun, was enjoyable. Uh, get caught up on the Resident Alien. Right. There are no zombies in this comic book. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, evil, yeah. Also, from IDW this week, we have the first issue of the new Thunder Agents series. Thunder Agents. Which, of course, is the latest in a long, long, long line of revamps. Probably one of the most, like, <laughs> done over yeah. series. For like, different companies. Yeah, never in the same place. No. Started uh, out, uh, uh, what was the original company that published it? I either? think it was Warren? Yeah, it might Warren have been or Warren? Tower or something? It might have been Tower. I don't know. Um. 
But in addition to this new series, we have also got a reprint of the classic Thunder Agents by First Wally Wood. issues, not just Wally Wood, but Reed Crandall and Gil Kane, Ooh. master of the upshot nose. <laughs> you know, um, I actually came across a romance comic a buddy of mine had, and he didn't know who the art was, and I was like, oh, it's Gil Kane. He's like, well, how can you tell? Well, at least on every page there's a shot yeah, where the guy's like it. this. Yeah, Gil Kane. Um, but yeah, Thunder Agents is basically the United Nations task force. There's a dude in here named Weed, who's a locksmith. We have Kitten, Dynamite, Guy, who's the leader of the squad, because why not? Yeah. Guy. Uh, and then Egghead. I mean, this is some great Silver Age stuff. Uh, it's a good primer for the new book, which is written by Phil Hester, uh, who's done The Coffin. He's uh, a serious comic fan. He's done a boy. lot of stuff. Fire Breather. He worked on uh, The Anchor with yeah. Blanche Yeah, yeah mostly on art, and he is writing this time, so... Uh, but it should be fun. You know, Thunder Agents is always cool. Uh, completely in contrast to that, <laughs> we have from comics, manga, pop, princess of the grotesque and gruesome, Junko Mizuno, who is putting out the second volume of Little Fluffy Gigolo Pelu, uh, which, you know, is this little fluffy gigolo that's, uh, you know... It's pretty self-explanatory. It, it is. He's looking for a bride. He's just not having any luck. And What's he's, the fuzzball supposed to do? Yeah, he's going, you know, there's mythical creatures, and, and he's just trying to woo a woman, you know? Um, but that being the premise, Junko Mizuno does really great kind of pop art-infused manga. Um, she's really... It's it's so cute that it hurts, and it's kind of scary that it hurts. It's like a Junko Mizuno... I mean, uh, uh, Junji Ito took, like, happy pills for his entire life <laughs> and drew stuff. Um, but she's done tons of vinyl toys. Um, there's a lot of erotic stuff in here, a lot of weird adult things. Um, knitting, apparently. There's knitting, you know. Yeah, the, the, he, he knits on his spare time. What are you going to do? You know, you're traveling through the cosmic highways. You don't have... You don't you got time to knit, whatever. Uh, but, yeah. Great fun. We also have Volume 1 in stock, which has been out of print for a few years, too. And Marvel this week has Deadpool number 14. This is the second <coughs> chapter in the saga of The White Man. The 40-year saga. <laughs> yes, the 40-year saga of The White Man, which started in the 70s. He was a little-known archenemy of Luke Cage and Iron Fist, who Deadpool helped defeat in the last issue, which was the amazing flashback with, the you funk know, the issue. Deadpool fro. Straight up funk. This is, it's got a significant lack of afros, this issue, but it is modern it's falling day. up. Yeah, you know. Modern you day, Iron Fist has nice white duds, <laughs> but the white man wakes up from his 40-year slumber. And what are you gonna do? Keep the black man down! First thing, he's gonna find Luke Cage, he's gonna put him down. Oops. He's gonna steal his baby <laughs> mama, steal his baby. Steal his baby mama. <laughs> Who's white, and he's gonna have, have lots of problems with that. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> and returning from its two month hiatus, I know you know what this is. I know you've all been looking at the covers, you probably saw the previews, you know, hell, you might even download it already. Because <laughs> it's that kind of thing. Saga. Number 13, Brian K. Vaughan, Fiona Staples. It is back, picking up from the end of the second trade for all of you who got the second trade or the first and the second trade. This is right there. This will get you on. If you don't get the next trade, or if you don't get this issue and you want to wait, you're looking at another eight months. Can you really wait eight months? Can you can you ask yourself that? No, I, I didn't think so. No, no, no. You're not going to be able to. And plus, our very own Video Monkey is in here. I even scanned an image, so it'll be, yeah, it'll be coming up. Yeah, see if you can spot it. See if you can spot it. Might get a no prize. Um, even bigger no prize if you can tell us what he did to get Fiona Staples to do that. Um, it happened at the Comic-Con this past year. No, we're not giving any hints, but there's a very large, very mysterious no prize that we will give to the winner. All right, and rounding out this week from Marvel, they have finally gone and done the good deed of reprinting Doctor Strange, Doctor Doom, Triumph and Tragedy. By Mike Tornola! Yeah. This, I, I mean, it's... Ugh. I spent ten years trying to find this book, and finally, after seeing it, and the fact that they didn't screw up the color, like, can you believe it? It's beautiful. It's perfect color. It's normal. And because the color is a very important part of this, but you have Doctor Strange, you have Doctor Doom, and teaming you have up teaming up to, to fight... To go to hell! And to rescue Doctor Doom's mom's soul from the devil. Doctor Doom even does the friggin' Ditko. He does his magic like Ditko. It's amazing. All right? And even the back that's not him isn't bad. It's friggin' got some Kevin Nolan, uh, Doctor Strange, and then you've got some Mike Mignola Submariner. Oh, nice! You got... Mm, dude, that's that is awesome. some Mike Mignola Pirate Submariner. Now, if that isn't worth the back half of the book... And it's like 17 bucks. It's like $17, so I don't know what the hell is wrong with you this week, but this is what you need to get. 
absolutely a a a pleasure. It's the best can... of Marvel Van. It is. It is <laughs> Marvel Van. Yeah. Uh, and the cover of the week this week from our very favorite Gabriel Ba. Look at that. It's so sexy. I don't even like care what's in the comic, but it's got a chick with a gun with robot circuitry. You know, refuse. Big in city in the background. City. Big glowing city. It's favorite of Casey's. Yeah, absolutely. He's a for that stuff. I am. But that's the True Lies of the Fabulous Killjoys number three, written by Gerard Way, art by the uh, indomitable Becky Cloonan. It's amazing. Um, but yeah, cover of the week. And we also got some new merch this week. Bus Banks. Ooh. We got a new statue. This is the Artifacts Wonder Woman from Kotobukiya, and it's got pants. See, you can get your Wonder Woman without pants, your Wonder Woman with pants. Yeah. Something for everybody. That's right. That's right. For you and for your daughter. And we also got, for your daughter or for you... We don't judge here. We don't judge. No, absolutely. My Little Pony. Pop vinyl figures. They're only 13 bucks. They're super cute. No, they don't move, but that's what they do. Um, we got Rainbow Dash and Twilight Sparkle, number four and number six of... Would appear to be a seven figure series. So, yeah, we only got a few, you know, and he's gonna go fast. He's gonna Get go fast. Um, and tonight is also the uh, long table discussions at 6 30 from 6 30 to 8. Anybody wants to come by and talk comics and stuff, we will be here. And this month is also our 38th anniversary, as you can see by this very nice sign. Very nice sign. Um, we will be having a sale August 24th and August 25th uh, that weekend where all trades, paper, trade paperbacks, new, old, hardcover, softcover are 38% off. And that's just our way of saying thank you to our customers for keeping us alive for this long. You know, I mean, we love what we do. We're happy to see you guys coming and get comics. It's a mutual thing. You know, it's good. We might talk a lot of shit, but we love you guys, you know. Uh, so, yeah, that's about it. And um, we will see you next week.